Good morning, afternoon or evening wherever you are. I'm Paul Clark and welcome to my studio. Now, what have I got for you lovely people today? Well, today we're going to take a little trip to the beautiful highlands of Scotland where we're going to have a go at this little lock and mountain scene. So come and join me and we'll paint this together. Today's materials, my paper is some Arsh Rough 200 pound, nice and thick so that won't need stretching, but you can use any decent watercolor paper. My paints are my normal three primaries, Cobalt Blue, Alizarin Crimson, Cadmium Yellow, some Cadmium Orange, Yellow Ochre, Payne's Grey, Prussian Blue and Burnt Umber. My brushes, a large mop, three quarter inch flat, number 12 round, number 6 round, and my trusty number 3 rigger. Okay, so here's the line drawing, which is a little tricky, so you can download the template for free from my website. Now a small boat can be a bit of a challenge to draw, so here's a handy little tip. Some of you may have seen this before, but it is quite useful. Start by drawing a squashed figure of 8 on its side. And there you have that classic shape of the hull as it curves around. And the reflection will simply do the opposite thing. Just practice two or three times on some cheap paper first and you'll get it. Right, let's make a start. Just a little masking fluid for the highlight side of these poles. Two colours to mix to start with. This is a 50-50 Prussian Blue Payne's Grey mix. And this is a 50 Cadmium Yellow and 50 Yellow Ochre and with all my washes, usually slightly more water than paint. Right, now large mop and totally wet the paper with clean water. Then, using my flat brush, in with the yellow mix. Closely followed by the blue. Now be careful not to blend the colours too much or you'll get a sort of greenish colour which we really don't want. Unless it's the Northern Lights. No, but that's just silly. Here I'm just dabbing out with some tissue the paint that I've got onto the boat. Now still wet in wet, a few clouds with some Payne's Grey. And here just lifting out with a damp brush. Now we need to let this totally dry, so it's a perfect time for a short break and a wee dram of Glenfiddich 12 year old single malt. Next with a flat brush and a very watery mix of the same blue, I'm painting in the distant mountains. Now let this dry and then give a second layer of the same wash. Now let this dry and then with a darker value paint in the closer mountains. And here I'm just wetting with some clean water this left hand side to create a soft misty edge. Now for a little more detail in the lock, adding in some more yellow 
and a touch more blue. Now for this golden colour, this is a 60-40 mix of yellow ochre and burnt umber and then straight into the beach and the wall. Now here I'm just adding a touch more burnt umber and just a wee drop of cobalt blue. Then straight in, wet in wet, into the wash. Let this dry, then King of Splats is at it again to create some lovely random beach texture. Flat brush again and the same blue mix. And now using my number six for some more ripple details. Next, let's work on the boats. Now you can paint these any colours you want, but just try and drop in a darker value, wet in wet, into the right hand side of each boat. Now here I'm just using some yellow ochre for the coverings of the sails. Now here is a 50-50 mix of burnt umber and cobalt blue and I'm using this for all the details on the wall and any other dark shadow areas. Now for those of you who um, follow my tutorials will know that I try and find relevant background music but I thought 20 minutes of bagpipes could be a bit of a challenge. No offence. So I thought this relaxing Celtic music would do the job.
Now I'm using here some Payne's Grey for some bluey shadows and details. And now back with the brown mix. Now for the fishing nets, a 50-50 mix of alizarin crimson and cadmium orange. And using the dry brush technique, keep your brush flat to the paper and just drag your brush down. Now the boats look like they're hovering above the water, so we need a reflection. So I'm re-wetting the paper and dropping in the corresponding colour vertically below each boat. And when that's dry, I'm just putting back in the ripple details. Now let's just remove the masking fluid very gently. And now with the dark brown mix, I'm putting in the right shadow side of these poles and a few other bits of fiddling here and there.
And next, with a little yellow ochre, I'm just filling in the poles. Now with my rigger brush, after all, that's what it's designed for, in with the cables and rigging. Nice, quick, confident strokes. Now a few highlight details with a white pastel pencil. Next, the smudge technique with a damp tissue for some mist rolling in from the sea. There's a song there somewhere. And I think we're done. Oh no, it's 21 now. Right, so here's another case of seeing it fresh next morning. And I think I just need to bring out that distant mountain just a tad. And then just a little darker tone over here on the left. Now I think we're done. Well, I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did and you'll give it a go. Please don't forget to do all the normal, like, subscribe, leave a comment. It really does help support the channel. And I look forward to seeing you all again very soon. So take care and cheers from the beautiful Highlands.